Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I want to talk about this uh, research thread uh, that I've got going on the RPF for the uh, X-Wing control stick. Um, there are two different control sticks and uh, I think there's a little bit of confusion about that. Um, there's another RPF guy named uh, or going by Wavy. He's got a, a thread on it that's an old one. Um, it's been around for a long time, but he's doing the other control stick. Um, and he's pretty much nailed down, I think, most of the parts. It's pretty well solved, I think. It's just the parts aren't terribly common and you don't see a lot of people building them. Um, I'm concerned with the other one. I'm concerned with the one that has that keyboard at the bottom. Um, there's a lot of stuff unknown on that one and I wanna find out about it. And actually, really, there's one main part that isn't known and that's the actual stick part um, that they hold on to. Um, I know that there's a, a a disc on the top that came from the bowcaster, or at least it looks like it came from the bowcaster. I'm um, not going to be able to really figure that out until uh, I actually get my hands on the real stick because then I can actually see the scale of it compared to the part and then that would you know obviously be able to confirm from that. Um, but the other parts uh, I feel like they're pretty easy, they're pretty common um, like the the calculator here, the, the TI-3000 um, when it's upside down in this configuration, then you, you put the white button on the side and whatnot, and, uh, or the white switch, which, and then the big red button, and there's a light sensor that gets stuck on there too, and then there's two silver tubes. Don't know the source of those two silver tubes yet, I'm pretty sure they're going to be like a commonplace item, not like everybody's house common but like something that would have been in a hardware store something that would have been um, I don't know just around like maybe camera parts it could have been like an internal film spool or something like that maybe if you guys have old cameras if you could take a look inside of them that might be very helpful um, if we could maybe look at those kind of parts um, I was thinking like a I have a list of the things that I thought it could be there's like a flange bearings tube flanges. Uh, I have a whole list of different named parts that are that shape, but I can't necessarily find the right dimensions. You know, like they're either too short or they're too wide or, you know, whatever reason, they're, they're just not right. Um, and so I, I was hoping that I could get your guys' help on identifying a couple parts. The main one being the control stick itself. Um, that's the last major part. The other couple parts, we can probably have somebody make them, you know, like we could do a parts run and, and make those parts or substitute something else in, um, in the meantime. But uh, the control stick, make that your number one priority um, if you're looking for something. Uh, the, other, the other parts would be nice to know, but I don't feel like they're as important because really without the stick, it's just a, it's just a calculator with some stuff stuck on it. <laughs> so. Um, anyways, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take apart the calculator right now, and I'm also going to try and pop that light sensor off that camera and uh, see, make sure that it all fits. It looked like uh, everything pretty much fits. I've already kind of taken things apart, uh, except for the camera. I haven't taken the light sensor off that yet, but I've kind of held it up next to it. The scale looks right. It has the correct number of rows and columns. They're straight, column, or straight rows and columns instead of staggered, um, which is way more common to find staggered like on the umig the bubbles are staggered um and so anyways let me let me get started t disassembling things and kind of show you where it's at right now all right let's take this bad boy apart i've already done this once before but it dropped the screws That could be a source for more vintage screws if anybody's looking for one for their lightsabers. Although these are shorter in length than the uh, exactor screws. Not that that matters, this, the, the head matters. So there'd be three you can pull out of this one, and then there's two smaller screws. out is easy. So we got five screws, three big ones and two little ones. 
The little ones are really little. Alright, we don't need that part. And then there's four more screws in here that we gotta pull off to get the keyboard out. Here's our keyboard. So the red button covers up this hole here. And now I know that, uh, I can't remember who it was, they found the, the TI-31, which I think is it's pretty much the same layout, except it has a switch right here. And I guess you could get it and you know break it off or something, um, but I don't see evidence of that, that it was ever there, so I think that the 3000 is the correct one, but red button would go here, two silver tubes there, and then the white switch, which actually needs a little substructure, like a little rectangular piece attached to the bottom. This is just something I got off Shapeways, and it gets attached on the side here, like so. So it should actually be bumped out like that a little bit to look right. Um, let me see if I can actually remove this from the board. Oh, it's soldered on there. A lot of solder points on this. All of these are connected. All of those. Yeah, there's all that stuff. I'd have to either cut or get my soldering gun out and heat them up and pull them, which would be difficult. Let's move on to the next piece, which is the Permamatic 618. This is a very cheap feeling camera. Like it's, this does not feel like a quality product. It feels like a piece of junk, honestly. Screws blend right in, don't they? It's pissing me off this stupid. Where are you at? Okay, well we don't need to mess with all those other screws. Looks like the light sensor is something that we can finagle out here. 
screws right here A lot of wires and stuff in here that I don't know that we need for anything. So then I'm just gonna cut them. Looking for vintage wires for your Vader saber? There's a few of them in here. Or even your Luke. Um, Hero. There's that one in the cave scene. Vintage wires, there's a blue wire. There's even a blue wire. Look at that. screw right here I'm gonna take off the viewfinder Ooh, look at the capacitors all corroded nasty there it's just great okay now I think we are yeah light sensor Here it is. Okay. Let's grab this guy. Light sensor goes here. Let's just stick all these things on real fast. The little sticky tack so they don't move around too much. Stay put. There's another piece that goes here, two pieces maybe. They're blurry in the picture and you just can't tell what they are. So there's that. So here's where we're at. Keyboard is almost done, missing the two silver tubes that go here and here. Um, two blurry things that go there, and then I just gotta remove this thing from the circuit board itself. Or maybe not, I don't know, because there's something holding it. So maybe it's a piece of the... Maybe they're using part of this as a frame to hold it or something. I don't know. But I could see like a, a light, like a little shimmer of something down below so
What do you guys think? Needs a little spray paint. Um, another thing we got to figure out is those dots. I don't know what they are, but I see them on the X-wing um, chest, the X-wing pilot chest boxes. They're like little circular dots that are on some of these keys. Um, so those got to be. There's two different colors. We got to figure out uh, where those come from. I don't know much about uniforms. You know, like costumes, like Vader or X-wings or whatever. So, um, yeah, that's I think pretty pretty sweet deal there.